Right, we get into the final part of this module and we're looking at a couple of equations. Uh, so just a couple of ones, we will come back to the in, in, um, next week, week after. But the first one that we're going to look at is the equation to calculate profit. Okay, so here we go. So profit is the part that the business gets to keep um, after paying all the costs. So you have money coming into the business, great, that's coming from all the customers. You have to pay out a lot of costs, that's all your expenses. Profit is what's left over at the end. So we have the little equation there, and we've got the revenue less expenses equals profit or loss. So you've got there the element titles, R minus E, revenue minus expenses, equals our profit. Okay, give you a little example. Say for example, our revenue of a business is $100,000. Maybe that we're running a bar, that's how much that is coming from customers. Now we've had various expenses that have happened over that time. And so we've got expenses for the year, of $80,000. So, what we have at the end is we have a profit. We have $100,000 received coming in, $80,000 has gone out. So, the part that the business gets to keep is $20,000 profit. So, it's a positive figure. So, that's what a Profit is profit calculation. Revenue minus expenses equals profit. Now, um, so if revenue is more than expenses, we have a profit. Yay, we've made money. But here we go. If revenue is less than the expenses owned, we have made something called a loss. So let's just change the little calculation here. So Maybe for example, um, expenses, change, change this. Maybe our expenses for the year, it's been $130,000. So we've received $100,000 coming in, $100,000 coming in, $130,000 going out. Now we have a negative figure. And it's no longer a profit, it is now a loss. Now what's important is, so this minus this gives you a negative number. Now in accounting you might be going, well why did I put it in brackets? Why did we do that? Um, that's the same as saying negative 30,000. But in accounting, sometimes we do a lot of equations, we do a lot of minus signs, things like that. We don't want to be confused with minus signs and negative signs. Wherever there's a negative, we put it in brackets. Okay, so um, later on when you do some financial statements, you, know, you might be calculating a net profit or a net loss. Just remember, it goes into a bracket. So, this is a very important part of a business, being able to make a profit. If you are making a profit in a business, then it means you're covering the costs. It means that it's really good for um, business, because it means owner's equity is going up, it means that you're growing the business. If you're making a loss, if you keep on doing that long term, then you're going to be running out of money, and eventually you will go bankrupt. Okay, so the other little equation uses the other three elements, and this is what we find on the balance sheet. And we've already looked at this equation in um, owner's equity, but the equa equation goes owner's equity is equal to assets minus liabilities. So assets less liabilities um, gets our thing called net assets, which should equal our owner's equity. Now this little equation, sorry put that there, this little equation uh, we're going to be looking at it in a couple of weeks. So you don't need to worry about it too much at this stage. But these are two very important equations. 
how to calculate profit, and then also how to calculate the balance sheet. Right, so we've done uh, those couple of equations. Uh, now we're going to practice, especially calculating the net profit of the canvas and calculating how much money has been made um, in profit or how much money has been lost.